G'day team, it's Chris speaking. Welcome or welcome back. I'm coming to you from my little reading nook. I've changed my office and I've got rid of the TV and this is basically where I live now with all of my books and it's wonderful. I want to talk to you about a particular book today, one that made headlines I guess in the transgender community late in 2019 as the book tour was going around and that is Jackson Bird's memoir, Sorted. If you don't know what this book is, it is a transgender memoir by Mr. Jackson Bird, and if you don't know who Mr. Bird is, he is a trans man living in New York who has been out on publicly and on YouTube for about five years. In fact, he came out on YouTube and was on YouTube beforehand, um, sort of doing some Harry Potter Alliance stuff, which is very well documented in this book. I was super nervous to pick up Sorted. Um, the reason being is that Jackson's story, when I was looking for transgender resources, um, I'll pop that one up here. When I was looking for transgender resources myself and doing some, some research into could I be trans or am I just sort of making it up, um, Jackson's videos hit home for me a lot and made me very uncomfortable because they were the ones that closely resembled my own story, or so I thought at the time. So for that reason, I was very nervous to pick up this book. I had it pre-ordered when it came out and it sat on my shelf for the better part of two years or 18 months to two years now, it's coming up to, and I finally picked it up. I felt like I was finally ready, I was finally, finally in a place where two years on tea, I'm, I'm passing all the time and, and I thought I would give it a go. I'm really, really glad I did. And while I was making notes and I put it down at chapter two because yes, there were similarities that made me uncomfortable, it got to a point where I could stand back and say, this is exactly what it's meant to be, and that is Jackson's story, not my own. And that was a really, really powerful moment for me, and now I think I'm in a place where I can start to read and learn about other trans experiences because I'm now comfortable in my own journey, which is awesome. It's an awesome you know, a uh, place to get to. And not all of you are going to be in that place and that's completely fine. It took me a long time to get there. I do want to have a chat about, a little bit about the book, not so much in terms of review, but a little bit of a discussion and uh, talk about some of the takeaways that, that I have from, from reading Sorted. The first is, that's a Harry Potter reference. Jackson Bird is very, very uh, involved in the Harry Potter Alliance. If you read the book, you'll know, and uh, very passionate about Harry Potter, but not so much the author who shall not be named. And I uh, did not get that until the end. So that took me a while. But what are you gonna do? The second takeaway that I took from Mr. Bird's book is that every trans journey is individual. Now that should be pretty self-explanatory. We all try and tell our friends and family that every trans experience is individual and it's up to the person to identify how they want and be comfortable with whatever they want within their own transition. Sometimes we make comparisons, particularly if we are consuming a lot of transgender media like I was, it's very easy to fall into traps of, well, this is going to happen and this is going to happen and this might not happen. I still don't have an Adam's apple and I'm dirty about it, but that's something that I thought would be an automatic thing on transition and it's not. So it is an individual journey. Surgeries that people want are up to them and it's not our place to judge somebody else's transition because it might be different from ours. The second takeaway I got from Sorted was just how thoroughly researched it was. It's not just Jackson Bird's story, and it is. It goes right from childhood up until a 10-year reunion, which happened pretty recently to my knowledge. But it gives the reader, whether they be a trans person themselves or a cisgendered ally, resources to go and look at their on look at in their own time, which was a really pleasant surprise. It gives you an insight to not only one person's story, but invites you to experience other people's stories along the way. At the end of nearly every chapter in Sorted, there is a list of some kind, whether it be a resource list, like documentaries that you can watch on certain topics, or books that you can read, or essays that have been written about certain transgender issues that you can go out and look at in your own time if you wanted to get more informed and more educated about those things, which I think is really great. He's not only 
said his piece. He's not only given us his story, which at times get ra gets rather raw, as it does. It has done for many people who have transitioned, and I would say most, but he's used this platform to educate, p educate people who may not necessarily know and understand our experiences. That's it from me. I had a really good time reading it after I got past that initial discomfort, and I'm, I'm really glad I did. I wouldn't say I'm kicking myself for not reading it sooner because I definitely don't think I was ready, but I think it is well worth it. If you want to pick up the book, I will put a link to it in the description box below, as well as Jackson Burns channel. I think his videos are well worth a watch. And uh, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of it, then click on my face and I'll catch you next time. Okay. Bye.